Thank you. The next phase of our program will, I will bring forth to you our keynote speaker. Many of you will recognize her from her regular appearances on Inside Story. Ms. Charmaine Madlock Turner is the president and CEO of the Urban Affairs Coalition, also known as the UAC. She began her tenure at the coalition in March of 1999 with a special distinction as the first woman to lead the organization's 47 year history. That deserves a round of applause. The Urban Affairs Coalition, formerly known as GPUAC, unites government, business, neighborhoods, and individual initiatives to improve the quality of life in the region. In partnership with the diverse board of directors, made up of business, nonprofit, and community leaders, Ms. Madlock Turner and her team of managers and more than 500 employees create partnerships and build consensus to help families reduce poverty and reach the middle class. The organization's efforts are focused in four areas improving the chances for youth and young adults, building wealth in low-income communities, strengthening the grassroots nonprofit sector, and forging strategic partnerships across sectors and communities. The organization has successfully managed more than $1 billion in social capital over its 47-year history. Extremely impressive numbers. Successful initiatives include programs and advocacy to end homelessness, AIDS, HIV, educational programs, Bankers Collaborative to drive community investment, a multi-partner effort to close the digital divide and a citywide effort to employ Philadelphia's low-income teens, which I know is a driving force behind the organization and their initiatives. Ms. Madlock Turner is the founder and chair of the 18-year-old West Oak Lane Charter School. In addition, she serves on numerous boards and commissions, including her work as a senior fellow at the University of Pennsylvania's Fells Institute for Government. Ms. Madlock Turner has received numerous awards recognizing her hard work and commitment to families and communities. Over the past few years, she has been the recipient of the Valley Youth House Community Achiever of the Year Award, Take the Lead Award from Girl Scouts of Eastern Pennsylvania, and she has received the Citizen Volunteer of the Year Award from the United Way of Southeastern Pennsylvania and New Jersey. She has been honored by the Women's Christian Alliance, the American Women's Heritage Society, Pennsylvania Senate, House of Representatives for the State of Pennsylvania and the City of Philadelphia, Black United Fund, among a host of a number of organizations. So again, I'm, I'm briefing this uh, just a bit. So without further ado, I'm going to bring to you the speaker of the hour. And again, she is such a fantastic individual and one whose voice is always so refreshing to hear on Inside Story. Please welcome Ms. Charmaine Matlock Turner. But uh, Josh filled in for me at another event, so I was able to get here a little early. Um, it's a pleasure uh, to be here, and I really want to thank um, Wayne and Harriet Luker, um, all of the commissioners, all of the elected officials, um, all of the dignitaries um, for being here today um, to celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. To the young people who uh, shared their understanding and vision uh, for the future uh, understanding of Dr. King, I was just I'm glad that I got here because I, I really, really wanted to hear how our young people are understanding and interpreting uh, the King legacy. Um, I also was uh, very pleased to uh, hear also the agreement with the police department and the real commitment and work that you have going to make sure that policing is fair uh, in this community. Um, the No Place for Hate Pledge, wow, that's terrific. I have like a sign on my lawn, and my six-year-old grandson comes by every time and goes, this is no place for hate, Gigi, it's no place for hate. And so I love that. Um, also to all of, to uh, Renee Royal, to our singers, to all of our other elected officials who are here from Congress, um, to certainly to uh, Josh Shapiro, uh, our Attorney General, who um, if any of you, if I see Brian Edmonds here, I think, hi Brian, one of my bosses at UAC. Um, uh, uh, 
Josh was uh, kind enough to again this year participate on a program of the UAC Breakfast. And uh, Josh, they're still talking about that wonderful speech that you gave. So we, we have the date for next year. Please make sure it's on your calendar. And then to my pastor, Marshall Mitchell, who was also supposed to be there, is supposed to be on the program. He doesn't happen to have a wedding that he had to do in Jamaica. I didn't, what can I say? Um, but Marshall, we have the date for next year, okay? I need it to be on your schedule. But uh, thank you so much uh, for all that you do uh, for this community. Um, Shirley Dennis, I saw Shirley come in earlier. Did she 